Hello and welcome back to Ken Follett's The Pillars of the Art with me, Barden. We're here with Philip and we're outside the um, we're outside the Bishop's Palace. And this is the palace or the bishop that Tom was talking about at the start of the game where he um, said to his wife, um, they were talking about, oh, what if the, the bishop um, offered you, you know, a job for life? basically fixing up this place here and we said that he'd take it um, kind of and it looks like um, it could do with some repairs but uh, let's see and where we can go I so. have to stay yeah I know you have to stay oh okay. so let's pat the pony my brother is as stubborn as you are sometimes <laughs> but I trust him the bishop has to see this letter Okay. Now, let's move on in. Okay, so what do we have available? The palace. Why to approach the bishop at dusk like a thief? <clears throat> yeah, so um, Philip really does has a kind of a crisis of confidence, I'd say. Like he doesn't really see himself as being a big player in in the wider scheme if of things. If I can face our lord, then why would I be afraid to face my bishop? There you go. Get a bit of backbone in you. If I can face our lord, then... Okay, same thing. Okay, the door. Oh, we've got something over there. So before we actually go in the door... Oh, some... Um, they sound like geese, at least. <clears throat> oh, why must I be so nervous? Yeah, Philip, get yourself together. I trust Francis. He knows about these things. Good. Trust your brother. That's the way to be. How can I help you? I've come to see the I bishop. I've come to see the bishop. Who may I tell the bishop is visiting? God. Uh, let's go with this one. I am Philip of Gwyneth. <coughs> and what may I tell Bishop Whalerin is the reason for your visit? The bishop insists that I ask. I am afraid I can only tell the bishop himself. The bishop yeah, okay. wishes to know beforehand. In this case, we will have to make an exception. Yes. It's not for your ears. Wait here. Gonna have a bit of a look around as well. My pony should be fed. Do I just take some hay? No, we don't. Better not. That's... This is the bishop's hay. Yeah, exactly. God, tell me, what do you want me to do? Probably go and knock on the door again. Why would the bishop see me? St. John's Chapel is smaller than this side building. <laughs> What lies beyond this gate? Oh, I should not distract myself like this. Why not? I will Let's still have face the bishop. I must. <clears throat> okay. Then I want to see what's over here. Hello? Ah, there we go. Yes? The bishop will see you now. Thank you. Okay, let's go deal with the bishop. From what I remember, he's a very political animal. Philip of Gwyneth. The right reverend Bishop Whaler in Bygod. Please, sit down. <coughs> Thank you, right reverend.
please, call me Waleran. I hear you've done good work at that little cell in the forest. I'm surprised you know about it. Speak up for yourself, <laughs> fellow. As bishop, I am the ex officio abbot of Kingsbridge. So, <laughs> I am bound to take an interest. Well, God has blessed us in St. John. I wish God would confer similar blessings on Kingsbridge Priory. Tell me, Prior Philip, what brings you here at such a late hour? Timothy said that you will only tell me. Um, let's mention the arrow. Oh, Bartholomew of Shiring. Do you know him well? <coughs> <laughs> As bishop, I am so much bad involved this, isn't in politics, though of course the church can never be involved enough. Mm. Bartholomew is a stubborn man. He is opposed to any suggestions from me, and I am his bishop. I heard the same about the Earl of Gloucester. How do you know of this? Ah, your brother Francis is working for Earl Robert of Gloucester, is he not? Did he tell you? Let's tell the truth. I don't like this guy being here, but let's tell the truth anyway. Excuse me. Yes, Francis mentioned this to me. He is indeed working for the Earl of Gloucester. But why are you bringing up politics? Tell me, Philip, why are you here? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. That guy over there's got his eyes on everything, look. Was I wrong to come to you, my bishop? Maybe I should have taken the letter to the Sheriff of Shiring. Eustace is ungodly, arrogant, grasping and corrupt. So are all sheriffs. Philip, how did you get this letter? We won't mention Francis. I found it among Prior James's documents in Kingsbridge. I am staying there for a few days. Prior James. May he rest so, in peace. We told the half truth there. Order everything to be burned. You know about this? Sub Prior Remigius mentioned it once. I asked them not to burn James's books. The brothers agreed. Well, and there you found the letter? Yes. Timothy, leave us. I think he's heard enough already anyway. So we're going to tell someone and else. Did you find anything else? No, just the letter. The messenger carrying it had an accident and died near Kingsbridge. Hmm. And your brother Francis told you about it? No. Philip, you already told me you have talked with him about this. From the letter I see the messenger was employed by your brother's master. That is why it is understandable that you would want to protect him. But there is no need to lie to me. <sighs> <laughs> A war would cost so, so many lives. God thunders wondrously with his voice. He does great things that we cannot comprehend. The book of Job. But this is not the work of God, but of Earl Bartholomew. <laughs> you are truly the man I have heard so much about. I will call on friends of mine. Pray for us that we can put an end to Bartholomew's plan before it is too late. You did a brave thing for our church, Brother Philip. Yes, he did. A brave thing indeed. <sighs> well, You'll go back to Kingsbridge Priory now and forget about the Sheriff, won't you? I will. And uh, don't speak of this to anyone there. I shan't.
Now that's done. Don't have to worry about it anymore. Right, well done, Philip. I guess now you might be able to have a bit of a look around. Let's at least try. I should get going. Why are these over here if not? Why is that? Are they building something? All the trees are cut down. So is there anything else around here at all? Seen the sunset, we've seen all that. Hang on, this is barrels full of apples. My pony needs to be fed soon. Should I take some? No. No. Philip is not. I think I better not take any of these. I can have my pony fed when I'm back in Kingsbridge. Yeah, there we go. Now, I think we should leave. Yes, but I'm not going on foot. Yeah, so let's grab the pony then. We should leave. Yeah, let's leave without feeding the pony because um I'd better leave. I shouldn't push my luck. We will yeah. find you something to eat on the way, old girl. Yep, yeah, that's it. Okay, the cave. So we've got Jack. Did you pack enough food? And his mother. And Alfred. It will be a while before you get to eat smoked venison again. Yeah, yeah. I took some. Anyone seen Martha? She said she had to piss. All right. <laughs> I'll uh, go get her. Alfred is so blunt. You're a mason too, right? Uh-huh. So, kind what of. have you built so far? I'm sure Jack would love to hear about your work. Houses. I mostly cow no, I love for it, does he? I haven't built much yet. Mm. That must be hard work. Right. He's very defensive, isn't he? Very standoffish. Okay, let's see what we can do. Tell me, how are you getting along? Fine. You know, you don't have to be afraid of me. I'm not afraid. I don't want to travel with I, him. I think I'll go and look for Tom. I'm going to see a castle. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll get along with them. Not too sure about that myself. Did you get everything you need from the cave? Probably not. Probably the next thing we're supposed to do. So Marta's in here. Ugh. Even the good ones are starting to taste bad. Let's talk to Marta. See what's wrong with her. Probably just upset about her mother. I'd imagine. <laughs> They're looking for you. I don't want to leave. It's so dangerous out there. I don't want to get robbed again. My mother will protect you. My mother will protect you? She's strong, isn't she? Yes. Papa Very. usually protects me. But he can't always be around. He needs to take care of himself too. She really is all beyond her years, isn't she? Okay, uh, a little more now. Yeah, we're more now. We're more now? 
there will always be someone around. No, that's not true. And I want to stay here where it's safe. You're always going to be safe here. Okay, let's give her our straw doll. This knight is Charles the Great. He will protect you. Oh. Am I his princess? You are. Together, you are brave and smart and will never give up. <laughs> All right. I have well to on, stay Jack. steadfast. Thank you, Jack. Come on, we're going on a great quest. Okay, let's head off on the quest then. On our way, I told Martha the names of my trees. There was the birch, Jerusalem, and the oaks, Alexandria and Byzantium. When I pointed out Rome, she laughed and named an apple tree Southampton. The farther we walked, the merrier she became, christening all the new trees Winchester, Bath, Salisbury, while I grew quieter and quieter. Finally, we arrived at a large road. This heads towards Shiring, Tom said. The strangest name of them all. <laughs> okay, so no, I think that's where we're supposed to go, so let's head on that way. By noon we had reached the edge of town. Mother gave us some dry prunes to chew while she argued with Tom whether we should head directly to town or past the palace of the so-called bishop. Tom was hopeful to find work at the palace, but Mother seemed uneasy. Yeah, she doesn't really like religious people. Or they connected to the church. So bishop's palace or... But we've seen the Bishop Pallet, Bishop's Pallet with Philip. So I think we'll head on down this way instead, towards Monksfield. Mother seemed happy to head directly into town and avoid the palace. These churchmen are all crooks, she said. But Tom answered with a worried expression on his brow. They might be the only ones willing to hire a mason around here. True. So we still got the choice. So I think we go to Shiring. Shiring was full of people looking for work. Mother and Tom kept asking around while we rested our feet at the market. Alfred gave me a look as if he wanted to punch me. But I only stared at the buildings amazed by the straightness of their walls. Finally, Mother called us over. Rumour had it that the Earl of Shiring was hiring all kinds of people. It was then that I heard a man in a robe say, That voice, it's her. The witch, she was here ten years ago. But apart from me, no one took notice. Oh, it's not good. Okay. So, doesn't look like... Oh, we can actually head on to... The Earl's Castle, or we can stay in Shiring. Let's head on to the Earl's Castle. So this is the 
you're misjudging whatever it is I did. I'm willing to forgive your mistake if you accept my offer now. This is all about family honor to you, isn't it? Perhaps I should tell you about my mother. She was a happy person who loved to laugh and tell stories, but father made her miserable. Oh, he's not a bad man, but solemn and strict. She hated him so much, she died from it. <laughs> Are you saying you don't like me? You're so self-centered. You never think about anyone else's feelings. You have no refinement, and you can barely read. What were you expecting? One day, you will see that you are wrong. And then, I won't be so forgiving. Yeah, this guy is a real dick. Like, uh, several levels above Alfred. Alright. Let's hope it's true when the Earl needs us. Here, I'm starving. Alfred, keep an eye out. I'll be right back. And boys, try to get along. I was chance that, that happened. What? Papa wants him to look for things that are broken. Some people don't know they need a mason until you show them. Papa could fix their walls or build a house. One man can build an entire house? <laughs> I want to see. Learn what you can, but don't stray too far. Ugh. Why won't anyone just give me something to eat? <laughs> Okay, so what do we got? The well, let's check the well. Jack, be careful. Don't get too close. Mm. Is this a castle? I thought it looked like more like our cave. <laughs> this one. Don't interact with that one. Okay, so let's just talk to her. Stay sharp, Jack. People are rarely what they seem. No, they aren't. See that knight over there? What does he look yep. like to you? Why do you say a duck? A small bear. He looks like a small bear. <laughs> True. But even small bears can have an appetite for blood. Just because we are out of the forest, that doesn't mean there are no wolves about. We remember that. Let's talk to Martha. Hello, Jack. Have you ever been to a castle before? No. Castles First are very time. safe places. People don't rob you so fast. Hmm. Mother told me stories so about fast. castles, <laughs> about knights and princesses. Oh. Like what? Like the one about Tristan and Isolde. They drank a potion and had to love each other for three years. I know that one. Jack, do you think there's a princess in this castle? It would be so nice to see a real princess one day. I don't think they'd be considered a princess at this, like, the level of an arrow. Hey boy, come here. Say, what do you think about Tom? He's nice. He's nice. Well, let me tell you something. He may seem nice, but he really doesn't care about anyone but himself. Whatever you do, he doesn't care. He'll just drag you into his own misery. So take my advice. If you and your mother want to stay, you better learn to shut up <laughs> and put yourself second. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> You're the one to put yourself first all the time, Alfred. Okay, so that's a bit of evidence for us. Use it on you, maybe? Alfred thinks Tom doesn't listen to anyone. He should tell him then. But how can he, if Tom won't listen? Well, if Alfred is angry at his father, you must make him listen. That little rat. If you keep your feelings secret, Alfred, nothing will change. Yeah. <laughs> Probably should have just go, went and talked to Tom in secret. <laughs> Gatehouse. Can't go there. 
What else? Oh, we can go this way. I thought we would have been able to go over this way though. Yes. She deserves there you go. someone better. Such a very bright and charming girl. No, she's an arrogant one. Just like her father. Don't say that. It's not arrogance. It's nobility. You have to be like that yes. for people to respect you. I agree. She will do fine. It's the Earl's son I'm more worried about. <laughs> to think that coward is set to be next in line. At least he knows how to order people around. Right. What a brat. <laughs> Let's talk to the workers. Hello, my name is Jack. No one cares. What else do we have? Let's um, walk up the wall, walk back, walk back, cross the yard, and then the workers. Okay, so let's go. Um, up the wall. Okay, so then we have the gatehouse. I've got the knight. Let's um, come talk to the knight. Might get something interesting out of him. It's got the same color hair. Okay, Mr. Knight, what have you got to say? You seem to be enjoying your mead there. What is it, boy? You just want to stand there and stare? All right, then. Let's see <laughs> what you've got. Are you a knight? Are you a knight? No talking. How to be cheating. Let's just wait and win the con competition. You're good. Could kill a uh, boar with blinked. that stare. Pierce <laughs> like an arrow. Ever tried that, boy? Stare a boar to death? No, but I can kill a deer with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> you know what had happened nice. to a boy who claimed he'd killed a deer? Only the king is allowed to, right? Aye, or the queen for that matter. Whoever has their arse on the bloody throne end of summer. Used to be that anyone could hunt, but these are proper times now. Decent and orderly. <laughs> At least when it comes to butchering deer, that is. Yeah, not went much else though. Are you a knight? Are you a knight? I'll be damned if I wasn't. Would have risked my life for nothing if all I was supposed to do was bake bread. Be warned, lad. Get a job that pays. Not one where you have to pay for a new horse every time someone kicks your ass. Being a knight costs you, especially when you're also a drunkard. <laughs> Damn. This is honest. Will you be fighting Will you be soon? be fighting soon? Why are you asking? Curious. All right, let me tell you a secret. Can you keep a secret? Well, I can take it what and tell someone else. Is your shite boy? <laughs> Brown. Nice. Mine's grey, like ash. But that's a secret, isn't it? For my shite's color is neither your nor anyone else's business. So you'd better keep that to yourself. Got it? Hmm. Okay, then let's just leave. Uh -huh. <laughs> What a strange boy. Okay, so anything else for you up here? Oh, we got something over here. Just a view. Let's check out the view. Okay, and then uh, let's go to the gay house.
I guess we need to go um, this way. Uh, let's come down. And then I think what I'll do is um, there seems to be a, um, a bit more to do here. Like if you look at the chapter progress, we're about halfway through the chapter or so now. Um, so what I'll probably do is just continue this um, in the next episode. So that's going to be the end of this particular episode. Hope you're enjoying the series as always. And if you are, consider you know um, hitting the like button and sharing with your friends. I really do hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.